Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is selfie fingerprint theft. According to Japan's National Institute of Informatics, bad guys may be able to replicate our fingerprints simply from a selfie photo that might have our fingers in view. In fact, one such popular photo in Japan where the research comes from might be the peace sign in a photo. Basically, they say with modern cameras with the right resolution, in certain lighting situations, bad guys may be able to actually get your fingerprints fingerprint pattern from that photograph, and then they can use techniques to recreate your fingerprint, which has been done in the past, to defeat biometrics that might be on mobile phones and other things. Part of why NII is disclosing this is to show you how biometrics, once they're lost, are not recoverable. I've talked about this in the past. While I do think biometrics are a, a pretty good authentication token, I think they're better used for multi-factor authentication. One of the issues is you can replicate steel and trick biometric devices too. And once someone has your fingerprint, you can't get a new one. You, you've kind of lost that fingerprint for good. Now, to put this in perspective, other security researchers have pointed out that it's not quite as easy as this particular research might say. For instance, one researcher said he actually looked at a number of the photos online, and probably less than 30% of them, if they do have fingers, have the right lighting conditions to actually recover the fingerprint. So really, you shouldn't expect this attack to be commonplace. It's more interesting fact. One other note, I've even seen Snopes, the well-known website that actually tries to to uh, point out fake facts or fake news, they actually have a post on this already. And while they don't say it's untrue, in fact, it really is real research from NII, they do say it might be overstated and not as easy as these researchers say. Anyways, I just thought it was an interesting story. There's really not a huge practical takeaway here. I don't think this is gonna become commonplace. In fact, biometrics, while we're starting to use them a lot on mobiles, even they're not that commonplace. So I don't think you should worry too much about not having your fingers and pictures. Uh, that said, do be aware that biometrics aren't the perfect solution. They're a great new authentication factor. They also can be very convenient, but we got to realize that they have weaknesses too. Again, if you lose a biometric, it's gone forever. Now, I do hope as more and more devices and OS start adopting biometrics, they don't make the same mistake they did before and use that token by itself. I still strongly believe we need to use multi-factor authentication to account for the weaknesses that might be present in any token we use in the future. Anyways, that's it for today's news. Thank you for watching.